Welcome back, guys. Uh, we finally received this in the mail. This is the Jada Toys Reel, um, which is pretty much along with Fei Long, were the first two figures to be released by Jada Toys in the Street Fighter 2 line. Uh, the Ken, which we recently looked at uh, a few days ago, is pretty much reuse of this body um, with some slight changes, head sculpts, of course. Uh, but nonetheless, we're still going to open it up and take a look. Stay tuned. Alright, so basically, same packaging, uh, same artwork and everything, except now we have Ryu in the front there. The same art on the side. We have a picture of Ryu on the back instead now. We have country of origin, Japan, fighting style, martial arts rooted in Ansatsuken. So let's open up this package and take a look at the figure. Alright, so based on what we learned, we attack from below. Figure looks pretty nice inside here. Let's cut these plastic bits off. Three there, and then there's two in front if I remember correctly. One here and one there. So now you can take the plastic shield off. And now I have to figure out. Take a quick look at his background, which looks pretty cool. Mine's a little bit dented on the side. Really nice. We'll take a look at how he looks in front of that a little later on. Hadouken accessory with the two hands you can see sculpted inside there. Looks really cool. Here's the, the stand for the Hadouken. So that's uh, what we got with Ken. Well, pretty much the same as what we got. That's all it looks. We'll take a closer look at that later. Two hands then. Is it just me? Or did you have brown gloves in the game? I very cool. It's kind of interesting that they gave them uh, red gloves like the later games. So these are the two Hadouken hands. Have the angry head sculpt. And then we have the figure itself. Which looks really cool. So that's Set them up here and then we're going to take a closer look at the figure. So let's take a closer look at the figure here. Um, the face sculpt on this one is really, really cool. Unlike the Ken, which I complained about. Um, and I'll show that one again. As you can see, everything is just really, really clean. It really does look like a Ryu. Or how you remember him. Except for these red gloves, like I was mentioning. Uh, the gloves also have the texture on it. He has the soft bandana, which seems to be uh, part of the hair, which seems to be like a kind of... I don't know, like this whole piece on top here is a, like a toupee, if you want to call it that. That's real cool. Interesting how they did that. So as you can see, the texture is going through. 
Um, the shade and on the muscles and stuff it's very similar to how Ken was. Except he actually does have a slightly darker skin tone than Ken does. Yeah, the belt on him has actually some characters written on it, which is really cool. And the D, much like Ken's, is also very pliable and soft, so it's not going to get in the way. Texture follows all the way down to the pants, and there's fraying on the end, whereas Ken's had a pretty neat cuff. And also fraying on the edges of the sleeves. Shading on the feet as well. Like I said, pretty much the same body as Ken. So we're going to run through his articulation and then we'll take a look at his accessories. Alright, so let's take a look at the articulation. His head does go up around there, bends down around there, has some tilt side to side. The shoulders do come up to around here. The butterfly joint does come forward around there and back around there. The shoulder also does rotate, of course, uh, biceps swivel double jointed elbows, the wrist does swivel and hinge, the torso and the waist has a joint so together they give you about that much crunch with the gi on. Without the gi you can actually go a little bit more. Um, the this also does bend from side to side as well. Of course, the range is better without the gi. Uh, the leg does kick forward around there, kicks back to around there. Does have a decent split, a lot full on split actually. The leg does have a tight cut. The knees are double jointed. There is a swivel right where the foot goes into the cuff. And the ankle does go forward that much, back about that much. And it does have a pivot. So all in all, I would say very decent articulation. Even though the gi might restrict some of it, it's still not that bad. You could still get them into whatever pose you require. I saw on eBay they actually have a cloth gi selling for these figures, so maybe one day we'll uh, pick one up and see how it, how it goes, and maybe I'll do a video on it. Alright, so let's check out his accessories and see how those are compared to what game it can. Alright, so we're taking a look at the accessories and these are the Hadouken hands which came with them. Pretty nice, similar to what came with Ken of course, except his, uh, his have red gloves on. And they look really nice. If you could do what we did last time with Ken and get him into that Hadouken pose. I think I need to bring in the gi a little bit and get those hands to more together. And I think that was as best as we could get it for, for them. So yeah, so let's take a look at the head sculpt he comes with, which is 
this and much like I was complaining about Ken, they actually did sculpt some teeth in his mouth, unlike Ken, which just has a, a white uh, blob. So I appreciate the addition of some teeth there. So let's see how the head looks on him. And he does look very nice with it on. set him up for his last accessory which is going to be a new can part of course the effect hopefully it doesn't fall over there oh seems to be good and the Hadouken part which comes with its stand and like we mentioned the hands are sculpted inside so you can always rest it in front of the figure to give them that appearance that the hands are together. Oops, there he goes. And that looks pretty decent, eh? Very, very nice. And from the side, the hands don't get perfectly together, but you can get them pretty close. I think the gear does hinder it a little bit in terms of coming forward, but it's still good. I think it's pretty cool. So this is what he looks like up against his backdrop. And this is my best attempt at that arm folded victory pose it doesn't look too bad um, so up next we'll just be doing the measurement and size comparisons so you stands around the same height as ken which is around six inches and a couple millimeters tall there he is next to phalong Next to Ken, do all the Street Fighter ones first. Here he is next to Chun Li. Uh, quite the group we're getting there so far. Uh, up next will be Dalson and Bison. Here he is next to Neko. Uh, Mirage Michelangelo. Here he is next to Vijayda Toys Mega Man. Also, good scale there if you're doing the Marvel vs. Capcom. Here he is next to Bootleg Thousand Toys Master Chief. Here he is next to Black Widow. Marble Legends. And of course, we end it all with the Marble Legends and Man. So I would say this is another great release by Jada Toys. Uh, this would have been one of the first to come out. So they started off very strong and still continue to do so uh, the paint is nice the sculpt is nice um, there isn't really much to complain about i have one loose hand here but it doesn't fall out or anything and yeah i thought i'd mention it so bison and dalsim should be up Next, I believe they're releasing soon. Um, I have those on pre-order, so expect reviews on those as soon as they do drop.
and until then guys you all take care